हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट एम्नियोटिक फ्लूइड एम्बोलिज्म actually this is a complex disorder which is characterized by there is hypotension in this patient that is decreased bp or there is hypoxia and there is consumptive coagulopathy this is a triad of hypotension hypoxia and consumptive coagulopathy right so here if you see in amniotic fluid embolism what actually happens here is uh this i will just show you with a illustration okay so this is in uterus and that has been during delivery okay this is the placenta okay i am not drawing the baby right this is the placenta now during delivery or whatever uh, during delivery or abortion during intrauterine and fetal death okay the some of the amniotic fluid which is present here this amniotic fluid might enter the maternal circulation when this amniotic fluid enters the maternal say some drops not even full amniotic fluid it is just some drops of amniotic fluid enter the maternal circulation and causes this amniotic fluid embolism this is most common during labor that to last stages late stages last stages of labor or it is it can occur immediately postpartum okay here the baby suddenly starts developing dyspnea with uh, uh, you know respiratory distress severe respiratory distress and the patient can have seizures suddenly okay and uh, followed by seizures you will see that there will be massive hemorrhage and within a few minutes or few hours the patient dies so you will see amniotic fluid sometimes amniotic fluid embolism can result in meconium staining okay because of this embolism the mother is in distress and fetus is in distress whenever the fetal fetus is in distress obviously the meconium is released so meconium staining and rapid labor can occur due to this amniotic fluid embolism right so what are the causes of amniotic fluid embolism this can be uh, due to trauma any trauma can cause this amniotic fluid embolism or we said these stages that is in late stages of labor postpartum these can cause amniotic fluid embolism then amniocentesis can also result in amniotic fluid embolism now once we have diagnosed the amniotic fluid embolism what about the diagnosis if you see the diagnosis in the diagnosis in the cardio pulmonary circulation especially in the pulmonary circulation you will see presence of squamous cells and other debris squamous cells and debris is seen in the pulmonary circulation so this is one pathognomic feature of amniotic fluid embolism then what are you going to how are you going to treat it treat is you will have to give cardiopulmonary resuscitation should be done okay you should give some symptomatic treatment you should give oxygen therapy okay you should give inotropic support if there is failing myocardium then you should give inotropic support okay so you should give symptomatic treatment and you should uh, do mainly symptomatic treatment uh, and if it occurs preterm then i mean be preterm or before labor before you know before the delivery of the baby then you should try to first do a cesarean section and deliver the baby um, first for first and foremost you should first stabilize the mother and then do cesarean section and deliver the baby to improve the newborn outcome but this is a debilitating disease which will uh, which which is a lethal disease so thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you thank you and thank you for watching